Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for Tester Tuesdays where I try out products on camera for the first time with in-depth reviews, demos, close-ups, check-ins throughout the day. Really highly requested first impression review of the By Terry Terribly Denzilis foundation and concealer. This is probably the most expensive foundation I have ever purchased thus far in my beauty career. It is $115. I also have the concealer which is $69. It's $1 less than my most expensive concealer which is the Clay de Peau. Let's get into the first impression. My face is cleansed, toned, and moisturized with my everyday skincare routine. I am going to apply my winter primer which is a hydrating primer from Marc Jacobs. I always recommending using whatever primer will work for your skin needs and skin type before applying any makeup. It just protects your skin and offers that extra little barrier. Now on this side of my face, I'm going to start with a damp beauty blender to apply it and then on this side of the face, I'm going to use a brush. This way you can see how the different applications will look and I'm wearing the shade number 7. I have a blog post that goes along with this video that will be up as well and I'll have it linked in the description box below. But I had a little trouble finding the right shade and I highly recommend you going into a store that carries this foundation and testing out different shades that you think might match you because you will be very surprised at the way they created the shade names and numbers. So I'm actually number seven and that is called Golden Beige. And number seven is quite high up there in terms of numbers compared, comparing with other foundations. This is a wrinkle control serum foundation. Packaging is gorgeous. It's glass with this beautiful silver by Terry cap, a pump another bonus pump foundations have less bacteria breeding because you're not exposing it to air constantly I'm gonna do one pump on my hand it's not super liquidy even though it's a serum foundation but it is quite fluid it's a very traditional foundation text go in with my beauty blender it's already dampened and apply it on this side of my face That was with one pump and this beauty blender. So I feel like the beauty blender ate up a lot of the product. I'm gonna go in with one more pump. Bringing you in super close, this is two pumps on this side of my face using the beauty blender. Now the damp beauty blender did eat up a lot of the product. This did cover up a little bit of the redness, a little bit of discoloration. It makes my pores look flawless. It does not look like I'm wearing makeup whatsoever and it's just a very subtle difference between no foundation and foundation, but it's a flawless subtleness, which I really like. I'm gonna apply this side of my face using a foundation brush. I'm using my buffing brush from Real Techniques, starting with one pump. Okay, immediately, I highly, highly recommend if you're going to use this foundation, use a dense brush for applying because one pump gave me way more coverage on this side of the face versus the two pumps on this side of my face with my damp beauty blender. Look how much more coverage I already have. One pump, two pumps on this side of my face. Like, holy crap. This definitely is more full coverage when you're using the brush. Less product, more coverage, still looks very flawless, still looks very natural, still looks like skin. Very happy with it. It's gotten rid of my pores, discoloration, any redness is gone on this side. I also have weird coloration around my nose. That's pretty much gone. I have darkness around my mouth. That's pretty much gone. You can see this side still needs a little bit, so I'm going to go back in and touch up with a brush. I also have the concealer in the same name. I am in the shade number four. I'm gonna apply this under my eyes. I feel like the rest of my face doesn't even need concealer because of this foundation being such great high coverage. Right off the bat, the concealer is actually quite nice. I feel like it's a thicker version of the foundation. It's not super, super thick. It's quite lightweight still. It feels really lightweight, but it is a thicker consistency um, from the little wand. And you're going to get rid of a lot of the darkness and blue tones under my eyes. And it still looks natural. It doesn't look heavy. I'm going to set everything really quickly with a little bit of my Bye Bye Pores from It 
Cosmetics. This is my everyday setting powder. And I'm not gonna use a lot because I don't feel like the foundation or the concealer needs a lot. Let's do a really quick check-in. I applied the rest of my makeup, but I think it looks really nice. It's giving me a really nice full coverage without looking like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. And it's all about how long it wears, if it's going to keep my oil at bay. And the concealer looks good. It looks like it's covering my under eye circles. Hi guys, it is like 7.30ish and I thought that I would do a quick check-in because my lighting is decent. So super close in on the foundation. Sorry I didn't get to do an outdoor check-in, but I think it looks good. It's wearing really nicely. I have some glow about my nose, but that's always the case and it's in fluorescent light. I will do a final check-in in a couple more hours. Okay, my final check-in, it is now 10 p.m. I've had the foundation on for about eight hours-ish and I have to say, Overall, in real life, I really like how this foundation wears. It offers a full coverage without looking like I'm wearing a full coverage foundation. It is also super, super lightweight. It's working really well with my dry parts of my skin as well as the oily parts of my skin. I'm gonna do a super close up. The foundation is still there. It's still covering, it's still concealing. I think my under eyes could probably use a little bit of retouching. You can see the concealer hasn't creased or caked or done anything weird and the color is still there I do feel that the color has faded a little bit so if I were wanting to go out again I might need to reapply a little bit of that concealer just under my eyes to add a little more coverage where I tend to get dark here also at the end of the day my eyes do get darker underneath because I am tired and should probably go to bed soon. I definitely do like this foundation and I'm going to keep it and continue to use it because I do like how it helps hydrate the skin and also doesn't overly hydrate in my oily areas. It's good for my combination dryish skin in the winter time. I love the full coverage, but yet looking like a natural skin finish, even though it is covering a lot of discoloration. It makes me feel like I don't need as much concealer or if any concealer on my actual face. I think this foundation actually looks really good after eight hours. It looks good throughout the day. I don't feel like I need to touch up immediately I do like the packaging. It's very chic and very clean, very expensive looking because it is an expensive foundation. Now, do I feel like you need to spend this money on this foundation? I am always going to say if you're going to spend money or splurge on a product that is a makeup product to splurge on foundation or concealers because it is on your face all day every day for the most part. You are going to splurge on a foundation. I do really like this one. This one definitely does have skincare properties, so I will continue to wear this and test it out and you can find out more within like my Friday favorites videos when I do check-ins and kind of like update you guys on whether or not it makes it into my favorites. If you're not looking for a skincare foundation, then Armani Luminous Silk is very comparable in terms of texture, consistency, and finish. It's not quite as full coverage as the By Terry, but it is going to give you that natural flawless finish either way. This still has more coverage though. Another good one you might want to try out from the drugstore, again it does not have skincare properties to it, but it has a very similar consistency and texture. Try the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Gel Foundation. So that one is like the jelly, there's two versions of the Healthy Mix and I'm talking about the gel one. So that one comes in a pump as well, you can get it at drugstores in the UK and Canada I believe, and if you can't find it in the US, you can always find it on Amazon, eBay, I will try and find it and link it for you guys. Now the reason the By Terry is more expensive is because you have an anti-wrinkle or wrinkle control serum in it, so you're infusing skincare and anytime you you're using high quality skincare in a makeup product, the price is gonna jump significantly. Who I recommend this foundation for would probably be someone who has more mature skin. If you are showing signs of fine lines, wrinkles, or if you are just a little bit more mature, definitely if you're older than 30s, you wanna really invest in good foundations with skincare in it because your skin is mature, you wanna kinda of counteract some of the damage from the sun and the environment and just age life, it gets you down, your skin shows it so that would be a situation where I would say yeah go ahead invest in this now if you're in your 
20s or teens, I think it's not necessary for you to spend this much money on a foundation. If you're in your teens and 20s, I really, really recommend spending your money on skincare, whichever skincare you can afford that's good for you for anti-aging, sun protection, and probably like acne clearing and things like that. Definitely spend your money on skincare in your early teens and 20s and just take care of your skin. Now, if you just want to splurge, this is a great foundation. I really enjoy it. I actually like this more than my Armani Luminous Silk, which I haven't repurchased in probably two years now because I've just found other foundations I really enjoy, like the NARS Sheer Glow is really good. I love my Makeup Forever foundations. The Face and Body is like a ride or die one. So is the Ultra HD one. I also really love my Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, which is full coverage. The Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Coverage Foundation is definitely a little bit more full coverage though compared to this one. This one's a little bit more serum-y and natural finish, whereas the Marc Jacobs, if you wanted a natural finish, you could definitely get it, but it's definitely a lot more coverage than this one. I hope that that helped you out if you were trying to decide whether or not to spend your money on the By Terry Foundation, because I do think it's worth the price, but I don't think it's right for everybody. I don't think that you should run out and go get it. It's more depending on what your skincare needs are, what your everyday needs are, and what your financial situation is. You don't have to have this to look good. It's just a really good product that if you can afford it and you're bringing in money, then it's something that you should splurge on and like enjoy or test out. Go get a sample at Space and K counters and test it out for a couple days. Now the concealer. I do like this concealer, but I really like my Clay de Po one more. And if you're gonna spend the money, the Clay de Po one is only a dollar more. I just feel like in terms of concealers, though, when you're spending $69, why not get the Clay de Po one? Because the Clay de Po one is a little bit more versatile. The Clay de Po one is a cream stick formula, so it works beautifully under the the eyes. It works beautifully covering all over the face. I'll use just that concealer and a little powder sometimes if I'm in a hurry. It's gonna last longer also because of sanitary reasons. This one doesn't, um, isn't gonna last as long because you're dipping your, the applicator in and out. You're getting air exposed to it. Whereas the cream one's a twist up so you can always disinfect it and clean it and that one lasts two years before it expires. This one lasts 10 months before it expires. So this isn't even gonna last you a full year. So for a dollar more, and if you're gonna spend that price in that price range, then definitely get the Clay de Po one. I will continue to use this one, however, because I did buy it and I do like it. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just talking in terms of value for your money in the high-end world. Now, again, you don't have to have this concealer to look good. You don't have to have this foundation to look good. A concealer I would think that is very similar to this is almost the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I feel like they're both very creamy in texture, very lightweight, blends beautifully. You can use it all over the face, under the eyes, but preferably the NARS Creamy Concealer, I prefer to use that under the eyes, which is what I prefer to use this one for because of the consistency and the applicator. And Estee from Estee Lalonde's channel really loves this concealer, and it is a really nice concealer. It's high-end, it lasts all day, it feels beautiful on the skin. It has also got the anti-wrinkle serum in it, so again, it's skincare infused makeup, which is why it's so expensive. I don't believe the Clay de Po one has any skincare in it, and neither does the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So that is everything I have to say on the foundation and concealer by By Terry. I was really excited to pick it up because I know a bunch of my favorite UK YouTubers rave about both of them. I can see why they rave about them, and it is definitely a splurge. I'm happy I did because I will continue to use it. I do wear makeup pretty much every day currently and I feel better about having makeup that is also infused with skincare because if I'm gonna wear it every day I want to be taking care of my skin I don't want to just be slapping on a ton of product that tends to cause breakouts congested pores and blackheads I hope this helped you out if you're new to my channel my name is Serene and my channel's name is dress yourself happy because I hope my videos motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. You can reach me on all of my social medias. I have been doing Vlogmas where I vlog every day. I have my vlog channel which will be linked in the description box below. I upload videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday but I will be taking Christmas Eve and Christmas Day off 
so there won't be new videos on my main channel this channel during Christmas Eve and Christmas Day however I will still be vlogging and you will be able to continue to enter my snapchat giveaways as well as my blog giveaways which I have going up all the way through the new year and probably through January and I might continue them as long as I can keep up with it all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know what you think about the foundation. If you've tried it, I would love to know what your thoughts are. It's a great place for us to share our experiences and our concerns and questions. And hopefully if you've tried it out, you can help out some other viewers because my skin is very specific and my preferences are very specific. So I love to know what you thought about the product or what your questions are. And I will see you guys next time in my next video that will be up on Friday. Bye!